Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create icy frozen text and reflect it on a sheet of ice. This tutorial is an update to one I did quite a while ago on an earlier version of Photoshop. I provided this ice background so you can follow along. Its link is located in my video's description or project files. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the empty layer with black, but first, if your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since black is your foreground color, press Alt-Delete on Windows or Option-Delete on a Mac. Open your horizontal type tool and list of fonts. I'm using Rooney Tunes Revisited NF Regular. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link as well. I'm using a size of 255 points. However, depending on the characteristics of the font you choose and the amount of characters in your text, you may want to use a different point size. The anti-aliasing is sharp, the alignment is centered, and the color is white. If the color isn't white, click on it, and when the color picker opens, just pick white. Click on your document and type out your text. To center it, open your Move tool and press Ctrl or Command A to select it all. Click the Align Horizontal Centers icon and then deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. To slide your text down or up, press the Down or Up arrow on your keyboard. Make sure you leave room under it for its reflection. Shift click on the black layer to make it active as well. Click the icon at the upper right corner of the layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. This will allow us to replace the text without having to redo many of the effects that we'll be adding to it. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Crystallize. Make the cell size 7 and click OK. Open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Click the circular icon to make a selection of all the tonal values of your image. Go to Select and Save Selection. Name it Text and click OK or press Enter or Return. Then deselect it. Open your Layers panel and go to Image, Image Rotation, and 90 degrees clockwise. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. The method is Wind, and the direction is from the right. Then click OK. To enhance the effect, press Ctrl or Command F to repeat the filter and click OK. Then repeat it once more. If we rotate the text back to its normal position, you can see that the wind effect retained its horizontal angle, which we don't want. To make the wind effect rotate with the text, we need to make the entire layer into another smart object. Go to Image, Image Rotation, and 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now the wind effect is vertical, which is what we want. Go back to Filter, Pixelate, and Crystallize. This time, make the cell size 3. Then, click OK or press Enter or Return. If you want to edit or change your text without having to redo the effects that we added to it up to this point, double-click the thumbnail of the Smart Object to open it. Then, double-click this Smart Object to open it. Double-click the large T to highlight the original text and type in your new text. Click the check mark to accept it and click the small X to close this smart object. When you see this panel, 
Click Yes to save the changes. As you can see, the Smart Object immediately updated itself with the new text. Now, close this Smart Object and again click Yes. I'll press Ctrl or Command Z to undo the last step. Open your Channels panel and click the circular icon again to make a selection of all the tonal values of your image. Open back your Layers panel and click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the selection with white, and since white is the background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Then, deselect it. Hide the black and white text layer by clicking off its eyeball icon. Click the FX icon and click Inner Glow. Make the Blend Mode Dissolve and the Opacity 75%. Click the Color Box and in the Color Picker, type in 74C7FB. Then, click OK or press Enter or Return. The Source is Edge, the Choke is 14%, and the Size is 15 pixels. Then. Click OK. Make a composite snapshot of your image by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E on Windows or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Open your Channels panel and Ctrl click or Command click on the text channel that you saved earlier to make a selection of your text. Open back your Layers panel and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the composite snapshot. Click the chain link to unlink the layer and the layer mask. Now we can move, resize, and effect either of them independently of each other. Click the layer to make it active. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel and click OK. Go back to Filter, Pixelate, and Crystallize. Make the cell size 4 and click OK or press Enter or Return. Control click or Command click on the layer mask to make a selection of it. With the layer still active, press Control or Command J to cut the selected image from the layer and copy it onto its own layer. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and click Plastic Wrap. Make the Highlight Strength 6, the Detail 11, and the Smoothness 4. Then click OK. Open the Adjustments panel and click the Hue Saturation icon or you can click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. We want to restrict the Adjustment Layer to effect just the one layer beneath it in the Layers panel. To do this, click the Clipping Mask icon. Or you can press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. Check Colorize, and for the hue, type in 199, and the saturation, 50. Merge the adjustment layer with the cutout text by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Let's name the layer Text. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of it, and name the copy Reflection. Go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. Press and hold Shift as you drag the reflection down below the bottom of the other text. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it three pixels and click OK or press Enter or Return.
reduce its opacity to 20%. Next, we'll fade out the reflection on the background. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the reflection. Open your Gradient Tool and make sure your Linear Gradient icon is picked. Click the Gradient Bar to open the Gradient Editor. Click the Foreground to Transparent preset box and click OK. Go to the bottom of the document and press and hold Shift as you drag up the gradient line to approximately here and release. Next, we'll get rid of the icicles that extend below the ice surface. Make Layer 1 active. This is your text without the icicles. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to your text. Place your cursor halfway up the icicles and press and hold Shift as you drag the gradient line to the bottom of your text. Then release. I'd like to slide the reflection down a little to make the ice under the text look thicker. To do this, scroll up the Layers panel and make the reflection layer active. Press V to open your Move tool and press the down arrow on your keyboard. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.